Hi, I'd like to show you how to use the Dynamics Track and Trolley to look at motion in one direction. Now we'll look at constant motion as well as acceleration. Now first of all, we're going to take the track and on the end, we're going to clip the ticker timer on. Give it 9 volts. Uh, this is the DC ticker timer, I'm going to give it 9 volts. And then I'm going to take the trolley, it's got three wheels, and put it on the track. And just check that it is running evenly on the track. Next, I want to actually measure the velocity of this trolley on the track. So I'm going to measure out a piece of ticker tape, just longer than the track. And I'm going to feed it through these little guides underneath the paper, the carbon paper, and then into the clip. And I found you can even just do a little fold before putting it into the clip so it holds nicely. And then because of the resistance or the, the drag that's caused by it rolling on the track and also from the tape pulling through here, I'm going to give it a little bit of height on this end so that I can get a constant motion. So you can take a book and just place it underneath the end of the track. It is a good idea to turn the ticker timer on so that you can get the full resistance. And then give it a gentle push down the track. There we go, and I had it on 40 dots per second. I'm going to take the tape, lay it out on the table, and just weigh down the two ends so it doesn't move around. And then I'm going to ignore the first couple of dots on the tape because that was when I was accelerating it down the track with my finger. So I'm going to start off after about 10 dots and just write A and then measure off 10, B, C, etc. So there's B, C, D. There I've got my uh, markings for every 10 dots on this tape. So if it's uh, 40 dots per second, I've got 10, 20, 30, 40 dots on the tape here uh, that I've marked off here, so that is one second. So for this first section over here, I've got 0.25 seconds worth of dots. Then I can take these measurements from here, I can measure off from A to B which is 25.5 centimeters from A to C, which is 48.5, from A to D, which is 68, and from A to E, which is 86 on mine here. And I can use those measurements to work out my velocity uh, along the track here. Now, uh, if I was wanting to check acceleration, what I can do is use a larger book underneath the tape over the ticker timer here. And I'm going to take a fresh piece of paper, ticker tape, feed it through. And then I won't have to give it a push now because I'm it's on a, quite a good slope here, and it's going to accelerate down the track. So now all I have to do is turn it on, and release the trolley. Great! Now, because I'm looking at its acceleration from standing still, with this tape what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first dot, and I'm going to measure off 10 from that first dot, and then 10, 10, 10. And what we're going to find here is that it's a little bit different from the first tape we did. Let me quickly mark those off. There we have it. And I can already see that this is very different. I've got a, a short distance that was traveled in the first 0.25 seconds. After that it became a little bit longer, a little bit longer, until it was actually quite long. So I can see that the, tro the trolley was actually accelerating as it was moving down the track. Another way that we can do that is with the trolley just raised slightly to compensate for friction. I can use a cotton thread running over the pulley on the end of the trolley and what I'm going to do is just uh, move the track so slightly leaning over the edge of the table. Use the piece of cotton and the hook provided 
and some of the weights. Here I've got 30 grams, so I've got 10, three 10 gram pieces. Run that over the end of the pulley. Tie that onto the trolley. and then run my tape through so that I can check the acceleration as those weights get pulled down by gravity. So it would be the same, and again I would put the tape through and release, and there we see that the trolley is accelerated along the track. Then I'd have the learners draw up their graphs and do distance versus time and velocity graphs. I hope you enjoy using this equipment, it's really great in the classroom, and uh, don't forget to watch our website for further great resources.